Uh, hi everyone, so, so this is let's say the first official episode of, of fun, fun mathematics. Uh, so and today we are going to to speak about about graph theory and let's say some some introduction to to graphs and something which which is called Eulerian Eulerian tour which is which is let's say the first first theorem of of graph theory mm. yeah, so so first of all let me let me start mm, something about about the general um, about this this uh, video blog um, so so the main idea is, is to is to present nice mathematics ah sorry mathematics um, in a nice in a nice way um, so there is there are several motivations uh, personally I like to talk about mathematics I like to to explain things because this is the the best thing how how to learn something best thing best to, to learn something is is to teach it so when I want really to to understand something more deeply, I have to explain it to someone, and this is uh, this is kind of easy way how how to do it. So so I'm going to present even things I'm not uh, extremely familiar with, and I will hopefully get better understanding of it. And you too, if if you watch it. So this is some kind of of nice way. And also, what what's really great about about uh, this technique because I, I bought new new computer, new laptop, uh, which is which is tablet, is that it's really easy, easy and fast to produce, and also it looks uh, it looks pretty good. And so. Like topics of of this this blog will be will be quite uh, quite broad because I, I like a lot of stuff in mathematics. So so we are going to do a lot of lot of combinatorics and graph theory, which is um, something like like my main field. But also we are not going to be afraid of things like linear algebra or. Or analyzes and things, things like this, which are, which are quite, quite older and they're very nice, nice results and have some, some, at least basic understanding of these, of these topics. So it's really, really nice something to, to talk about. So, mm, okay. So what we are going to, sp to speak about our Eulerian, Eulerian tours and. Let me, because this is this is quite quite old problem. Let me let me go go to the past and show you one one real life example, yeah, which which is which is from the history. So real life origin from from history. So so there is there is a town called uh, Königsberg, which um, here is here is the map of of the town looks um, something like this so so in the in the town there there are there were two two rivers one one is here the other one here which join together like this and also as as they, as they join together they they create a small island in the in the center so in the in the town there are several bridges and there are five bridges connecting the center island. I will highlight them like this. And also there are two more uh, bridges which uh, connect the opposite sides of, of the river. And uh, something like big question in the past was whether there exists a spot in the town. You, you choose some, some starting point. And then you make a walk through through the town. Uh, so so let's say we start here, and we make walk through the town across the bridges, uh, something something like this, in such a way that no bridge is is used 
twice. And, and what we want to do is to make some kind of, of tour which will go through whole town and will go across every bridge. Uh, so we can start like this, go, go, go on. Now here, here, and uh, as you can see, we are, we are stuck here and we cannot, cannot finish it. But uh, the question is whether, whether there is some other, some other way how to, how to do it. So, so in the past there were, there were people betting whether you can do it or not. And it was a quite difficult problem for, for people of, of, of the past. And of course, as, as every famous problem, it is not possible to do it in, the, in this particular case, because if it would be possible, someone would find it very fast, and then the problem would be solved. And so, so this is not possible to, to do it, and uh, it was uh, proved by, by Euler. So Euler proved that there is uh, no solution. So, so and uh, like since Euler was, was quite quite big mathematician, he of course didn't prove just for for Königsberg that there is no solution because because this is this is a um, kind of small situation. So what what you can do is is to just. Uh, try every possible possible order of the bridges and it's some small finite number so so you could check it uh, by hand easily but he was able to prove it prove it for general general situations but uh, let me let me show you some another example from real life uh, everyone uh, surely knows this so so imagine picture like this uh, and the question is whether it, is it possible to, to draw it one by, by one line, meaning I will start at some point and I will start here and now I, whether I can draw it without putting my, my hand, uh, my, my pen uh, of, the, of the paper that I can, can uh, draw it with, with one, one consecutive stroke like this. And, you surely know that, that this is possible, for example, in this way, and there are more possible ways. On the other hand, if I have a picture like this, this is not possible. Yeah, because if I start somewhere, I never finish it. You can, you can try it as, as long as you want, but you won't be able to, to finish this picture. And so, mm, is it quite quite clear what, what have these two problems together? They're exactly the same thing. So, um, both are, are graphs. Uh, so, so, we are going to introduce something which is, which is graph theory. Uh, maybe when, when you hear about, about graphs first, you can, can imagine something like some picture, picture like, like this. But this, this is not, not, not our graph. Uh, this is... Um, this is um, a graph of a function and we are not going to speak about graph of a function we are consider graphs from graph theory and graphs from graph theory are something like like maps that you have points points called vertices uh, so so we have some kind of like points like like cities on on the map or some some points in some network like this, and then it it consists of of edges, which which are um, connections in in the, the network. So so some of the cities, for example, are connected connected by by some kind of, of um, edges like like this. So you can imagine that you have streets and you have cities and you can ask several questions about it. For example, whether you can get from every point to another. In, in such a case we say, we say that the, the graph is, is connected. That every point uh, there exists some and they have to get to, to another one in, in the graph. And there are several very very natural notions. Uh, for example, we can imagine easily, easily things, things like GPS and then navigation, or so when, when you search for, for some um, connection by bus or train, it, it can be easily represented by, by searching some path in a graph. 
In the case of GPS, we have, we have streets, and uh, neighboring streets are connected by connected by edges, or some like, crossings are connected by edges, and then you search for some path in in, in this graph. Um, yeah, so for example, if we, if we if we search for a path from from here to here, we can obtain something like like sequence sequence like this. Yes. So. Um, Yeah, and mm, so uh, it, it is quite quite easy to see that the graphs are some kind of very natural or natural term used use almost everywhere in mathematics and and computer science, and so so in our case we are interested whether it is possible to to start in one point of the graph and vo uh, make some kind of, of walk or close to it, it, it depends what we want in such a way that we use every edge exactly once so for example we can start here go here 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 and end in the in the last vertex so in this case it, it is possible and so so this 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 thing here is called Eulerian tour uh, which is which is something like a sequence of of edges uh, each exactly once and this this like these edges are like like uh, connected to to uh, like follow, follow they're following some kind of, of path in the graph meaning that that um, every two neighboring edges are sharing a common vertex. Yeah, so, so, so Euler was was examining which graphs admit Eulerian tour. So, so if I return back to to these to these pictures, which I can imagine that I have vertex in the, in each in each crossing of of the graph, and then if if the graph if the picture admits drawing by by a straight straight curve with without any, any stoppings um, of, of the pen then, and uh, the graph admits Eulerian tour so so in, uh, in in this case this this graph yes admits and this this one no and if I go back to uh, to Kenigsberg then what what I can imagine that um, that um, I have some like important points in the in the city which are for for places let's call it a b c and d and uh, if two places are connected by a bridge we, we connect them by by edge so we have four vertices and several several edges here um, as you can see here in the case for example B and C we have something which is called multi edges uh, this means that the two two vertices are connected by more than one edge but connected by more parallel edges but mm, this is this is no problem here and if we wouldn't like to to have something called multi graphs then we can just just put put some vertices in the middle of these edges, and they will it will become normal normal simple graph. So so it, it's no problem here. So we have a picture picture like this. Yeah, and um, so we have four vertices. So let me let me redraw it. So we have um, in our case we have four vertices like like this. They are connected by by edges, and what what Euler was able to prove that this is not this has no no solution as, as before. Okay, so so how to 